This is the moment two groups of teenagers got into a confrontation at the Contra Costa County Fair. Moments later is when a large fight broke out. <laughs> it was a big ruckus, man, like three different times. Uh, two girls started out, at, you know, beefing out, and then uh, next thing you know, everybody was piled on top of everybody. This vendor, who did not want to share us her name, says she travels all over the country doing county fairs. She says multiple fights broke out Saturday. Something she says is rare. Never seen anything like that happen ever. According to one of the vendors we spoke with, one of the fights broke out in this grassy area right here, prompting all of the attractions to close, which eventually led to the entire fair closing early. They tore up that game over there real good. They tore up the ride over there pretty bad. It, it didn't even run until this morning, so yeah, they stole a bunch of stock. I got some of it back, though. On Sunday, the county fair implemented new safety measures. They posted a message on social media saying we want to ensure the fair remains a safe and fun environment for all families and friends to gather and make memories. So for the last day of the Contra Costa County Fair on May 21st, 2023, we are implementing a chaperone policy. That policy means any minor had to be accompanied by a parent or guardian. We reached out to the fair directors and the Contra Costa County Sheriff's Office for further comment and we are waiting to hear back. Very disappointed and to have the fair shut down early, you know, our fair is one of the smallest in terms of time went. You know, we're not the California State Fair where it goes on for a couple of weeks. You know, we're trying to build up to that, but we can't build up to it if we have situations like this. Velma Wilson says she has been going to the fair for 13 years. She says this should be a place for all families to feel welcomed and not scared of violence. Community is so much bigger than the drama. We got to come together as one big community, coming together for the common goal of bringing families out, having fun. She is calling on other parents to make their children behave at events like this. She wants everyone to feel safe. We need to teach our children. When you come into these spaces, this has not come to, to create an unsafe environment. In Antioch, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.